Aerobotics, Flight Planner for DJI. Yesterday, a new flight planning app popped up in my Facebook feed, and it was a South African app. Uh, if you're from South Africa, you'll know local is Lekka, so I thought I'd give it a go. Not the first time South Africa's produced um, mapping apps and mapping projects. Remember, the guys from Drone Deploy are from South Africa. Um, we had two days ago, we had some weather. So I thought yesterday, oh yeah, well, we'll I'll go and see, if, see what flooding is on the farm. And because uh, it often floods down over there. And uh, I thought, well, this would be a perfect use case. But I don't think I gave it a fair chance. So I'm going to try again today. And today is even more of a case because boy, did it rain yesterday. In fact, it did this yesterday here. Dave Cato, headmaster at Treverton Prep School in Moy River. We have this amazing, shocking, actually, video of your school in flood. Corridors with massive rivers of water running through them. It looks like you had one hell of a storm. What happened? One unbelievable storm. Half past four yesterday afternoon, we had a hailstorm with gale force or even hurricane force wind. And the volume of ice, uh, well, hail and rain that fell was quite unbelievable. And uh, yeah, and it just we had uh, torrents of water, you know, and us flooding all parts of our school, through the school building, sort of down the corridors, on the field. So uh, it really was something quite extraordinary. Sure. So the producers of this app are from the Cape, and Cape Town's approaching day zero. They're running out of water, and we're quite far from that here. Actually, before before I do that. I should point out that I am flying from a deliberately horrible area. This tree is in the way for the GPS. This barn that the donkey is even looking disapproving. And, and these, this line of trees here, this is a subpar place to fly from. So this should give it a workout. or give the Phantom a workout anyway. So when I power the Phantom 3 Pro up, I'm going to give it a little bit longer to work out where, it's, where it is in the world than I normally would. So I am ready to go bravely off into the wild blue yonder and I get this gimbal shake error never had that before put on the DJI Go app and it disappeared um, so it's a, it's a little bit worrying I've never seen that error, error before and it disappeared with the DJI Go app and then this happened oh, some bad news for me um, my screen recorder failed to record on the first um, so I've just had to fly it again um, but this time the wings got up so the thing was we're struggling but I suppose it's given me my third go of the app so I can be a little bit more sure of uh, of any issues so let's um, let's unpack it I suppose well here we go then the first thing I learned while just playing with it, never read instructions is once you've drawn the area that you want and saved it uh, when you and maybe you do that at home when you go back out onto the field if you tap that area it brings up as you saw where that number one is, brings up the flight plan. That's a little bit strange, a little bit disconcerting. Another thing that worried me straight off the bat was for the GPS, it says good. I'd, I'd really like to know the number of satellites that the thing's seeing. Good is okay, but I don't quite know what that means. So off we go then, fairly normal. Nowhere does it tell us that we've got to switch to P. And also notice in the top left or just underneath the batch percentage, it says disconnected, also quite disconcerting. It was plainly connected, but for the sake of science, dear viewer, I moved forward with this test flight, obviously keeping it within sight at all times, so I'd be able to take over if I needed to. Anybody spot the next problem that I have? And I presume the bottom button down on the bottom right, the stop button, will stop and then hopefully return to launch. Look, the the other thing that I found a bit weird was it doesn't doesn't scroll with the aircraft. Maybe I didn't find it in the settings. You see the aircraft off on its jolly way and, and you have to scroll to follow it. So that might be something they want to change in the next version. Also, and I don't think you'll see it in this because I think I'll move the screen around a bit. It'll um it'll let the screen darken. The the screen will uh, will go to sleep. Uh, during the flight and, and really you need to keep that active. Next sort of language thing I noticed, remember we've spoken about stop in the bottom right. See what happens when it gets to the end of the mission. 
It says, nearly there, mission stopped. Now that sounds a little bit to me like there's been an issue. Um, it could say something like mission complete returning to launch. Notice also that the start buttons reappeared in the bottom right. Uh, I wonder if you tap that again if, um, if, if it would redo the mission. But uh, I wasn't going to do that, it was too windy and uh, it's time to come home. So, all in all, it is what it is. Um, it allows you to connect to their ecosystem, and that's what it's about at the end of the day, isn't it? Aerobotics want you to do the post-production with their product, like Pix4D uses Pix4D Mapper and then hopes you'll use them, and Drone Deploy does the same. So, it is what it is. I look forward to the next version, and uh, I'll give that a test too. Like, subscribe, do whatever else you need to do on the Tube of the Year, and don't forget to join us every Tuesday at 2100 GMT for our weekly nonsense chat. Cheers for now.